for the record, yeah, for the record, for the record, yeah. All right, welcome to another episode of For the Record. We're on to the divisional round. Let's recap last week real quick. I hit two on my three bets. Luckily, they were the more expensive bets. Seattle didn't cover the spread. They didn't even win. So that was a bet that I lost. I'm up $1,700 for the week, bringing my year total to $6,992. Pretty freaking amazing. But we have three more weeks to capitalize on this. So let's go. We're going to start Saturday off with LA Rams at Green Bay minus six and a half. Last week, I really underestimated the LA Rams. I thought they were going to get destroyed by Seattle Seahawks. However, they came through even with all the injuries. And then another injury from that game is Aaron Donald, fractured a rib. So I think factoring that in, along with having to travel time zones and the climates could be different, there's a lot of edge here for the Green Bay Packers. However, six and a half is a lot. I'm going to end up teasing this game, and you'll see that later on. So I'm going Green Bay here. Next game, we go to Baltimore at Buffalo, minus three. This is really a coin flip bet here. Both teams have a means to score. Baltimore's really good at the run game. Buffalo has poor run defense. Buffalo has Stefan Diggs, who's been an issue for a lot of teams. And they also have Cole Beasley. If you somehow slow down Stefan Diggs, he has yet to be stopped all year. He has the leading receptions all year, leading yards. So that's going to be really tough. I think the difference maker here is going to be the turnover battle. And Buffalo, believe it or not, is tied for third place in terms of forced turnovers. So I'm going to take Buffalo here. We go to Sunday. Sunday, we have Cleveland at Kansas City, minus 10. Cleveland just came off an amazing win against the Pittsburgh Steelers. First playoff win in 25 years. Last time they won a playoff game, Bill Belichick was their coach. Insane. But the question from last week is, did Cleveland win the game or did Pittsburgh lose the game? I'm going to have to say Pittsburgh lost that game. They threw a ton of picks to start the game off. And Cleveland actually let them come back in the game and score 37 points. You can't half-ass it against the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to throw up probably at least 40 points if you're going to play like that. But it is impressive what Cleveland did last week, especially because they didn't have a lot of the coaching staff. The other flip side here is Kansas City. They have yet to cover a spread in the last eight games. So 10, again, is a little bit too high. And there might be a little bit of an argument for them, you know, going on bye week and resting their main players the week before. So that's a two-week layoff. And sometimes it's tough to get back into that gear. However, I'm not too worried about that. I just think 10 is a little bit too high, especially in a playoff game. So I'm going to go Cleveland here with the points. And then the last game is going to be Tampa Bay at New Orleans, minus three. This is going to be a fun game to watch. That's all I got to say. Who's going to win? I really don't know. I know the stat line that a lot of people are placing out there and using in their headlines is that New Orleans has won the last five games in this matchup. However, I will argue that prior to the last two games, Tom Brady wasn't on the Tampa Bay Bucks. So those first three games... Shouldn't even count. Shouldn't be talked about. So, yes, New Orleans has won the last two games this season. I think the New Orleans Saints are just a little bit more well-rounded. So, I'm going to pick them, but it can go either way, honestly. Oh, yeah, and this being the last game of the week, if you get the winner in the final score, I'll give you $500. Comment below, all right? Now, my three best for this week, I'm going to take Buffalo in a straight spread pick. You'll pay a 10% juice, so that's going to be $550 to win $500. Put a small amount on that because I'm not crazy confident. The bet I am confident in is going to be a two-team teaser. You guessed it. I'm taking Green Bay minus a half point. They're definitely going to win. I just don't know by how much. And then I'm going to take Kansas City and the Cleveland over 51 and a half. It's pretty high, but I feel like if, if Cleveland is going to give 37 points to the Pittsburgh Steelers after so many turnovers... Kansas City is at least going to score 40, right? So I'm going to go 2,000 on that. And then bet number three, I'm going to do another two-team teaser. I'm taking Cleveland plus 16 and Tampa Bay plus nine. I'm going to take the underdogs here. I'm only going to put $500 on this. For the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen.